James, mate, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Mate, um, you've been in London just a little while now. Yeah. Um, mate, of all the beautiful places in London, I'm not saying this isn't beautiful, but why have you chosen this coffee house in Putney? Uh, one, because I live up just up the road, and uh, <laughs> I guess coming from Australia, you get uh, you become pretty particular with your coffee, and uh, this place is run by Kiwis, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. we're all part of the same group here, so the Antipodeans. So, yeah, the coffee's great here, and uh, most mornings I'm in here on my way to, down to SSP. Let's go back to 06, you made your debut for Queensland Reds, mate. In fact, you're the most capped captain, 69 times yeah. you captain them. Um, you won the super, super title with them as well, so you've achieved so much there. Um, considering all of that, obviously the sun shines a bit more yeah. in Australia than it does yeah. here. So what was your decision making? What was uh, the things that attracted you to moving to London and Harlequins? You know, a big thing for me was, was I wanted to do something different. You know, I'm a, I'm a very proud Queenslander. I was born and raised in, in Brisbane and I knew to myself that I wouldn't play for another team in Australia. If I was going to stay in Australia, I had to play for Queensland. I, I couldn't see myself pulling on another shirt. And I think also for me, travelling, and, and I think it's one of the great things about rugby is that the, it does play around the world and it is a, a truly international game. And I'd always wanted in the back of my mind to play internationally wherever it was and um, you know that was a big thing for me and uh, I think having a British passport where my mum was born and raised uh, in Isleworth just around the corner oh, really? from the stoop so I think the fit was really 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 good here in in, uh, in London and you know I, I was really excited about coming to London uh, as a city because I think it's one of the greatest cities um, you know when Harlequins showed some interest you know I jumped at the chance and it was you know that to be fair, the, the deal was done pretty quickly. And mate, you've been here just a few months now, not even quite a season. So what have you made of the, the fans, the supporters, um, the players, the coaches? What, what, how have you digested that? First of all, the fans are amazing. You know, the Stoops are a great place to play, and I think the fans are one of the main reasons for that. The fact that most weekends, we're you know, throughout the season, we're putting up the, the sold out sign out the front. You know, yeah. any time you can do that at any stadium makes a, makes a huge difference to the way teams and you know it is a very intimate stadium uh, the stoop you know in super rugby you play in a lot of really big venues that are probably half full at times and you don't probably have that intimacy that you do here have over here in the UK mate you spend most of your time in between props bum cheeks yeah. you've got your scrum cap on you're in the engine room every single Saturday and we're here in a coffee house mate one of the things you like to do to relax mate how else do you be able to turn the switch off and just get away from the game and, and put your feet up. My wife and I certainly like getting out and trying new places and going to different sides of London because it is so different from, I guess, you know, South West London where we are here. You go to the East London, yeah. North London. We're trying to get all over and see as much as we can because it is such a fantastic city and, um, you know, something I just want to try and take in as much as possible while, uh, while the two of us are here. And, you know, we've got no limit on how long we want to be here. Having a British passport helps, so it's... Yeah. Uh, I'm a local, technically. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, look, I think yeah, we like to just get out and see parts of London, especially, you know, there's some great food, great coffee houses, you know, take the boys on some coffee tours. A few of the lads don't like to get out of their bubble of southwest London, so uh, I try and drag a few of them with me every time we go just to, to get them out of the, the, the little comforts of, uh, of southwest London. Mate, so thanks for Not taking it. the time. Pleasure. Thank All you the for coming. Weekend. Cheers, thanks, mate.